Okay, what we've got here is a basic compost sifter and the reason we put this together is that we've been building lots of flower beds and the material that we are using has a fair amount of clumps, there's bits of wood in it and um, these little clods of, of compost and while it's still good material uh, it's just difficult to work in the beds. So uh, I came up with the idea of a, of a sifter and in the end result, and you'll see this in a second, we come up with a really nice material that works well in the raised beds that we've built around the house. So fundamentally what I've done was to uh, take a small two cubic foot cement mixer, uh, the kind you can get at uh, Northern Tools for about $199. And the reason I went to uh, this is because it was uh, a nice configuration. It's on a cart so it, uh, you can move it around easily. And for a small application, uh, it does a really good job and it'll give you the right amount of material. It also has a motor and the gearbox all built in, so I didn't have to worry about trying to come up with pulleys and belts and things like that. So essentially what I've done is cut four squares, and you can see these, they're about, uh, about 14 inches by about uh, 9 inches, and they're basically just where the barrel gets to be flat. So I came around the curve and before it has a curve here. And then I, I drilled three holes for bolts, uh, laid in the wire cloth, and just screwed it in place using some fender washers to uh, uh, go behind the head of the bolt that were larger than the uh, openings. So again, it's a real simple little machine. It uh, does a nice job. So let's turn it on and we'll show you how we uh, sift our compost. Now the unit was designed as a cement mixer, so it was designed that you could put about an 80 pound bag of sacrete in there, so the weight isn't a problem because as quickly as you shovel it in, it started to sift it out. So I'm not real concerned about the you know, material that's going in there. And as you can see, uh, it quickly sifts this material out. One thing I need to do is put a little piece of tin here so that uh, it prevents it from falling out on the outside. And this was just some scrap wood to give it a little base to sit on so that I could get a shovel underneath it. But you can see how nice and easily it works. And then uh, once you've sifted a certain amount and you want to get rid of the, the little bits that are inside, all you have to do is just simply tilt it up and all those marbles kind of roll right out. And set the unit back here. Shovel those out of the way. And we're ready to go. So I think all told, uh, the mixer is $199, and I think I've got another $10 or $15 in parts in it. And I think it'll do a pretty good job.